Okay, well, firstly, I'm going to tell you about the nutmeg, which is uh, like our goal. A nutmeg was first brought to Grenada in like in 1844 by Honorable Frank Garner. Now, the pods, that's the yellow outer layers, are used to make jams and jellies. Nutmeg is used in pharmacy in Vicks Vapor Rub for the treatment of coal, also in rum punch. Now, the mace, that's the red netty pot, is used as a seasoning for seafood, porridges, cosmetics. Nutmeg and mace is very strong, so when you use it, use it in small amounts. Okay? And um, there are all kinds of other things you have going on there in terms of the spices. Some of them have medicinal value. Tell us about that. Yes, there's the cinnamon, which has lots of values for medicine. Like cinnamon is the bark of the tree. Now to get it, you cut down the whole tree and a new one grew back up from the trunk. You don't have to replant it. To actually get the cinnamon, you'll take a knife and scrape off the green layer, which is the skin. Now the cinnamon is that layer below the skin, but above the wood. So after scraping off the skin, you're going to take the knife and mark the cinnamon and peel it off. Now you have to give it a little tap because it might be like a stick down a liquor. So you're going to peel it off and put it to dry. It curls up in the sun. That's how you get the sticks. Now cinnamon can be used but whole and ground up in cinnamon rolls, cakes, ice cream porridges, as a tea for gas and chills and diabetes. Now cinnamon also helps with weight loss and cholesterol too. Okay, great. Now... There are other spices there that have medicinal value. Yes. Tell me about some more of them. The cl for instance, there's ginger also. Used as a tea for gas and chills in ginger ale, biscuits, and seasickness and morning sickness. Or any form of motion sickness, ginger. Oh, world famous these days, the turmeric. They use it as a substitute for curry. And as a poultice, like if you have a bruise or a sprain, you can grate it, put it in a piece of cloth with some salt, and you tie it on it. You can also dissolve a teaspoon in warm water with some honey. It helps with inflammation of the joints. Okay, great. What about the allspice? Allspice, yes. It's grown on a small scale in Grenada compared to Jamaica. Now, Jamaica produces 90% we produce the other 10 but the leaves you get an oil in it called eugen oil used in aftershave oils and cologne. You can also put it in barbecue stand along with the coals that gives off a nice fume. But the berries use it as a seasoning but whole and ground up. In precursors, chews, gravies, rice, even cakes. You can also make a wine with the ripe berry. Now as you can see the tree is a strong tree so you can use the wood to make walking sticks and umbrella sticks. It belongs to the same family as guava and has the same aroma as clove and mace. That's why you call it allspice but it's a pimento. Now it's like a berry, like a black pepper. Okay, okay. what about soursop? Soursop. Now soursop is grown and looks similar to uh, a strawberry. Now it's a Green in color and a little bigger and soft when it's ripe. Now, sauce-up can be eaten as a fruit. For juice and ice cream, sauce-up also helps with prostate. But the leaves can be used as a tea, for instance, if you have a problem sleeping. Okay? Okay. And um, there are some other ones that I'm not familiar with. Though. But let's look at the rosemary. Yes. Rosemary is used as a seasoning for lamb. Now you can also use it for chest cold in babies, but to do that, you're going to pick the leaves, mix it with coconut oil and camphor, and you rub their chest. It's like a Vicks vapor rub. Rosemary can also be used as a tea for hot flashes in menopause, depression, and memory loss. I noticed there was centipod there too. Centipod, yes. Centipod, that yellow flower. Flowers? Yeah. Yes, and you know centipod is used as a laxative. What about Van Van? Now, Van Van is also used for cooling but in breastfeeding mom. Now you make a tea with it, it enhances the flow of the breast milk. Wild coffee? Wild coffee is for prostate. It don't cure the prostate, it, don't help, it, it only helps you with the pain. For instance, now you're going to take the dry seed, roast it and sip it in water and then use it as a beverage for the stoppage of water. Okay. Periwinkle? Periwinkle is a, like a decorative plant or a house plant, but you can use it as a tea for diabetes. What's the other name for periwinkle? Uh, it's all made. And it's grown pretty much all over Grenada? All over the island, like a house plant.
Okay, wild onions. Now this one, it makes a big bulbs and a flower like an amaryllis. But actually you're going to use the bulbs for asthma. You're going to boil the bulbs and drink it. It makes you vomit. Then you bring up the mucus. But if you don't have the wild onions, you can use the regular onions that you cook with. But first you have to cut it up in sugar till it makes a syrup. Then you drink it. It has the same effect. Dandelion. Dandelions are grown wild. Most people have them as weeds. Now when the dandelions, you make a tea with it, it cleanses the urine. You can use it for kidney stone. You're going to use the young leaves in salads and make dandelion wine and high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Guy on a thyme. Oh, that's one really nice smelling one. And this one is mainly used as a seasoning for seafood, but you can put it on other meats as well. And um, the cloves? Cloves are grown similar to the allspice in clusters. So you can pick the cloves when they're bright red and put them to dry. It goes dark brown. That's when we use them to flavor soup, season meat, rice, and in toothache. 